Hey there, politics enthusiasts. Today I'm diving into Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's fiery address to Congress, which has sparked a whirlwind of reactions and controversy. Let's break it down. First off, Netanyahu's speech was nothing short of dramatic. Drawing parallels between the recent Hamas attacks on Israel and historic events like Pearl Harbor and 9-11s, he issued a powerful call for unity and defense. He emphasized the strong bond between the U.S. and Israel, urging both nations to stand together for the triumph of civilization. But not everyone was on board. Protests erupted both inside and outside the capital. Inside the House chamber, Rep. Rashida Tlaib, the first Palestinian woman in Congress, held up a sign calling Netanyahu a war criminal and accusing him of genocide. Capitol Police had to escort out several individuals advocating for a ceasefire, arresting six in total. Outside, things were equally heated. Protesters were met with pepper spray as Capitol Police took extra security measures, including fencing around the Capitol, anticipating large-scale demonstrations. These protests highlight the deep divisions and strong emotions surrounding the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, especially after the recent violence in Gaza. Netanyahu didn't hold back in his speech either. He accused those siding with Hamas of supporting rapists and murderers, and labeled some Washington protesters as Iran's useful idiots, suggesting they were being manipulated by the Iranian government. Despite this, Netanyahu expressed gratitude for the bipartisan support Israel has received from the U.S., thanking both President Biden and former President Trump. However, the backdrop of his speech was equally contentious. House Speaker Mike Johnson's decision to invite Netanyahu drew criticism from some Democrats who saw it as politically motivated. Approximately 40 Democrats boycotted the address, voicing concerns over Netanyahu's policies, the humanitarian crisis in Gaza, and U.S. military support for Israel. This address marks Netanyahu's fourth time speaking before Congress, making him the foreign leader with the most addresses in history. His previous speech back in 2015 also stirred controversy and was arranged without consulting the Obama administration. Netanyahu's repeated appearances underscore the long-standing relationship between the U.S. and Israel. But the divided reactions to his speeches, especially in recent years, reflect the increasingly complex and polarized nature of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and its impact on American politics. Timing is everything, and Netanyahu's address, coming just months before the U.S. presidential election, has raised eyebrows. Critics argue that the speech was a strategic move to bolster Netanyahu's standing in Israel and garner support for his policies among American voters. So, what does this all mean? Netanyahu's address has once again spotlighted the intricate and often volatile relationship between the U.S. and Israel. Whether you see it as a genuine call for unity or a political maneuver, one thing's for sure. It's a topic that sparked intense debate and will continue to shape international politics. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more deep dives into the world of politics. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.